sorry. Justin, it's probably really in tune with how Ham likes to approach. Right. Well, the interesting thing about this matchup is both of these characters have the potential to be played very slow, like, defensive, methodical. But both of these players, when they get into advantage, kind of go off. They both have very explosive advantage states. So what we're going to see is a lot of methodical movement, weaving just in and out of each other's zones. But as soon as someone gets in, expect a lot of percentage, maybe even a stock. Yep. Both of Pickles is also so good with how he gets down at a disadvantage. Uh, that's obviously one of weak, Snake's weakest points, is that juggling scenario. But Wilfred Pickles is so strong on whether he's going to use a B reverse or a wave bounce grenade to even like mix up his trajectory. That time he just fell all the way straight down to the ground and Ham wasn't ready for it. Right. Great spacing there, not to hit the grenade. Getting the combo started here. Good monkey flip, but blows up the grenade. Well, Pure Pickles able to capitalize. We're back at two stocks each. I really like this. Wilfer Pickles not afraid to play out of the corner. Uh, not just a snake thing, but a Wilfer Pickles thing. He's content to stick in the corner, throw his grenades, get his setups started before he's going to commit to anything in center stage. Yep. Yes. Well, it, that's why I actually think it's interesting that we started PS2. Traditionally one of Snake's better stages, because you can camp out under that PS2 platform, make your own little Metal Gear Solid bunker. Yeah. Like, how are you going to get in? Like, unless you perfectly space a monkey flip, like, you're not getting in. And, of course, Welfare Pickles is going to be ready for that. Hey, could be. Both of these players are big brains. Snake Ariel's just doing so much damage. In addition to like the the percent that you can like pick up by default playing against Snake, that aggressive pair off led doing like 20 percent. Trades, yep. Yeah. Scary situation here. No, you're not. And if you are, who who cares? <laughs> Downer there, up to 89% for him. Down throw, yeah, gets the read. That's a nice call out from Snake getting set up. Once Snake has that lead, especially on the last stock. Yep. The game plan changes. It does. Right? It does. It becomes I'm I'm gonna run at you, or you can run at me. I don't care. I'm gonna blow up, and you're gonna blow up, and we're both gonna blow up together. There, there is a noise. I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> Uh, no way! No way! He goes right back to PS2, right? Yeah, we I, we gotta see a stage switch up here. A little bit more open space if we're going town. Okay, I don't mind town. Helps you survive up tilts a little longer too. That's a long selection. It was the music counter pick very important. Look, ever since DeBuzz took like 30 minutes to pick Darkon and then beat MKLeo for the first time, I have never questioned a music pick again. Three, two, one, go! 
Yes, very, very solid showing that game one. Off to an aggressive start here too, immediately putting him in the corner and then playing the ledge trapping game. Right. When it's interesting here, we're seeing him hang out in a very different spot. He's pressuring the corner more comfortably because of that center platform. Uh, he doesn't have those PS2 plats to sort of hang out three-quarter stage. He has to hang out in the middle. And now that we're on the FD variant of town, he doesn't really have anywhere to camp out and make his bunker. So we're going to see... Right. Yeah, he wants the platforms. Which makes total sense. Good C4 there, though. Yep. Air dodge back to ledge. Great spot dodge there. 151 on welfare pickles right now. Dangerous situation. Yeah. Good monkey flip there, calling out the spot dodge. Yeah, it was great. Put him in hit lag. Take this. There. See if we can catch this landing. Not quite. He was looking for the B reverse. Back to center stage. Popcorn cancel. Good back out, uh, back air there to call it the cipher. No, he's not. He's, you're going to see less risky grenade pulls, especially out of combos, because Snake can't afford to build up that percent without a stock lead. Yeah, that, that is absolutely huge for the game plan because now he doesn't have to change it. Now he can go back to taking advantage of Snake's heavy status against sort of Diddy Kong, a relatively light character, and build up that percent through trades, grenades. No, no, not, not at all. It is, he, unless he's hand, hitting like a banana confirm. Diddy can struggle to kill sometimes. Great awareness for that air dodge. Not here, not getting that stock taken from the C4. Good trade there. Misses the grab. Back throw Nikita edge guard potentially. Aggressive yeah, barrels. Yeah, great, great awareness. I like the idea there by Ham. Trying to aggressively uh, get back, avoid the Nikita, but Welfare Pickles ready for it. 2 0 lead right now for Welfare Pickles. Right. Yeah, wh who did he lose to? Who? who? Zed. Yeah, I guess that checks out. Okay. Somebody's got to give. We'd be seeing the same thing about Zed if he was sitting there. I would be shocked if Zed was here right now. <laughs> so, yeah, that makes sense. That's very respectable. But, yeah, you're right. I mean, someone's got to end up in losers. And, you know, regardless of who's uh, second seed, both of these players looking to take... Uh, Winner side of the tournament, it looks like. Uh, getting second, not going to slow welfare pickles as winners are walking down. You'd imagine, yeah, you'd imagine. He's, he's, as long as he's in winners, he's fine, right? Snake, Diddy Kong! Right now, it does look like he's going to be going to winners unless Ham can make something really big happen. We have seen things, uh, you know, that Ham has gotten started. We've seen Ham go to It's just every time that he just has that strong game plan of, you know, when he did that Yes. So, and part of the issue here is the most success we've seen out of Ham this tournament has come when he's gotten a lead either early or just like established it methodically over time and then just held the chokehold, never gave it up. He hasn't had the opportunity to do that in this set because by the time the first or second stock is gone, Welfare Pickles has a solid enough lead that he's able to just ride it out. Although, Although we were saying that Ham only 25% on that 
If there's a he needs the chokehold now, yes. That being said, it's just so hard to maintain a lead against him. You maintain a stock lead against him. Yeah. Uh, because you will get that chip damage. It's an inevitability unless you're playing insane. Right. There's no way to slow down the game to sort of stall it out, right? You need to keep up the pressure, otherwise Snake is going to slowly tack on damage through stray hits. Yeah. It's that chip damage. Part of me feels like Snake, for example, you might just have to be content to get, like, a fair amount of percent before you die. And yes. And you might keep that percent as high, like, get that amount as high as you do, so that you have the same time. Right, exactly, exactly. But unlike, we, we saw Ham versus Jake earlier, right? Like, he would go up a, a stock and then just keep, uh, maybe back out the pressure, put the pressure back on. He can't do that against Welfare Pickles, right? Because Welfare Pickles is going to build that damage back up and get right back in this game. Absolutely. You just need to... Right, you're not mad, you just need to capitalize. He's not, no. We're not going to see Snake die off a, a stray hit from a grenade or something for another 30%. Sixty-nine percent. It is. You are still in a scary position here. You need to start building up that damage before Welfare Pickles is able to take the stock. And this is what we were talking about. And just like that, Welfare Pickles has a lead. Forward throw. Well, for Pickles, of course, does not want this to go to a game four. Quick 3 0, end up in winner's bracket, right? Yes. Get some rest for the night. Right. He wants to prove that tomorrow, starting in winner's bracket. 110, though. Ham, you know, for all we're saying, Ham has kept the chase out, kept the line, not let start He has gotten back in the lead. Dangerous scenario here. Wow. <laughs> Yes. He was reading straight back to the ledge. Banana Confirm will be able to take a stock here depending on where in the stage it happens. Uh, almost even percents too. Up tilt from Snake. Up smash. Put one on the board. Is that what starts? He got that early and then he kept it up. He took some of the, he took some stray hits. Yeah. There, but he was content to build up such a high percent that he still maintained that. Lead. And then even even when Welfare Pickles made a great comeback and even took the lead at one point, kept his composure, kept his game plan up, able to put one on the board. This is how it starts. As long as you're not a stock down against Snake or like a ton of percent down against Snake, it feels doable. Right? It does. It's, it's it like does. Any other character when you're last stuck with each other. Right? Exactly. I'm gonna start trading. on as much percent until it's unplayable. Stock up. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Let's see if Ham can have a ring. And and we're back to town. We saw we saw Wilfer Pickles very comfortable on this stage in that game too. We are playing with no DSR. It was. It was. Yeah. Yep. We are playing on a no DSR rule set, so you are able to counter pick a stage that you have already won on, which is why we are back on town. Oh, not able to convert the down tilt into the grab. Oh. It's so scary. Man, that dash attack crushed up so hard that the down tilt didn't even reach. Goodness gracious. What a confirm. 
Yeah, that was. Able to Z grab the banana mid air is ham. Yeah, it's been very clean. 111, 124. This is a good percent if you're ham. You just need to be able to close it. Yeah, it's it's scary. Snakes normals do so much damage. A little bit. Ah, oh, down tilt back air, not quite able to con convert the stock there. Almost got robbed. This is. Yeah, if, you, if you're Welfare Pickles, this is the exact situation you want to be in right now. If you're able to take this stock, then you can almost assuredly just coast. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. I liked that interaction because we saw that combo earlier, and this time, Welfare Pickles was so ready for it that he grenaded out of it. That's beautiful. Yeah, this game. <laughs> and he already has a solution. Like he, he had that creative up throw, up B confirm. And nope, I'm not going to let you do that again this game. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to make a comeback against Snake with a full stock lead, this is how you do it. He's been playing masterfully. Yeah, he's been playing masterfully around the, around the confirms. Oh, heartbreaking. Wanted to go into the stage there. <laughs> That's heartbreaking. That is not how you like to see. He was getting something started there. Well, for Pickles, going to take the set 3 1, start in winner's side. Bracket. Winner's bracket! Yeah, winner's bracket. Ham will be starting in losers, but if he plays like he played those last couple stocks, I mean, yeah. you know, who knows? Yeah, no, if we, see, if we see Clutch Ham tomorrow, who knows? We can make I'm a run. I'm so down for it. Great. I'm hoping for it. Yeah. <laughs> they're just chatting up. They're just chat they're, they're, These two are good friends. They're, so, they're, they're just chatting it up. I don't even know if Trust will want to say anything. No? Yeah. I think they're giving matchup advice, too. Justin Welfare Pickles! Oh. Talk to us. Not what I expected uh, for it to end. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, like, that... We were like, oh, okay. Welfare Pickles snake a stock up against Diddy. You know yeah. the vibes. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did. He was working me. So we, we, me and Ham have played for so long that, like, I can just tell when he's like, I'm just like, I just can't fucking hit him. <laughs> like, I just hit, <laughs> it's just always those moments when I'm like, this is so hard. So I'm like, I just have to hunker down and all that even, you know. <laughs> so I'm like, well, I'll take those, I guess. It's unfortunate. But it was a good set. We know that was fun. Them. That was really fun to watch. Uh, I'm glad. How do you feel about bracket tomorrow? Winner's side. I'm feeling good. I think the only set that I'm like upset with my playing is against Zed. I think that's I was very nervous. That's fair. Like, I mean, yeah, you know, that's fair. That's fair. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> so, yeah, can't, can't have that. <laughs> um, but honestly, I, I don't know who I would play tomorrow in winners, but between like the top four seeds would be what? Tanner, Scar, Eric, and uh, Zed. Yeah, yep. so obviously, I don't think I'd play Zed. And I'm okay with playing the other three. Like, all right. I, I, I haven't beaten Scar in forever, but I would like to play him again. I think I can. I think I can. All right. <laughs> I always think I, mean, I can, at least. Yeah. Exactly. Gotta stay the optimistic. Day you stop trying is the day you really yeah, exactly. So, like, <laughs> I'll, I'll always put the effort in for the set. So. All right. Is that the last stream for that for the yeah. day? I think last so. Well, we still have the Central Iowa. Oh. The yeah. Oh, stay tuned for that. That's gonna be well, great. Good luck to uh, Central Iowa. <laughs> yeah. That is the end of the Gauntlet stage. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you. <sighs> He will be missed. What happened to Justin? Nothing, I just haven't seen him in a couple weeks. <laughs> or was that all a hallucination? Just what I wanted to believe I saw. I've been scouring all over the internet, looking for out-of-state streams of him, but I haven't seen him anywhere. And yet, 
I see him everywhere. When I wake up, I see him. When I go to look in the mirror, I see him. Sometimes it's like all I can see is him. No one really knows what happened to him. Some say he went camping and never returned. I may be crazy, but I still hold out hope he will return someday. That when I glimpse him in the corner of my eye, it will really be him. Welfare pickles doesn't Wait. Like pickles? Okay, I it can't like be. Thank you.